Hello, this is Jimmy Lennon Jr. and a big shout out to my friends at Valera Boxing. It's showtime. Valera Boxing, I know, shout out. This Friday, June 24, Jonathan Bomba Gonzalez of Puerto Rico will face Mark Anthony, the baby boy Bariga, the Philippines at Asalia Heritage Park in Kissimmee, Florida for the WBO World Junior Flyweight Championship okay. presented by Pro Box Promotions. The champion, Jonathan Gonzalez, boasts a record of 25 wins, three losses, and one draw with 14 of those wins by knockout. Gonzalez last defeated Elwin Soto by split decision in October of last year in Fresno, California, earning his current WBO World Junior Flyweight title. Mark mm -hmm. Anthony Bariga boasts a record of 11 wins and one loss. With two of those wins by knockout, Bariga is coming off a unanimous decision victory over Romel Antaran this past October at Sandman Gym in General Santos City, Philippines. Magandang araw, senyo lahat. Lalo makaibiga nasa Pilipinas. I'm Chris from Blair Boxing. And I'm joined by Philip, Monty, and Carlo. Philip, Monty, Carlo, welcome. Kumusta kayo? Hello, hello. Hey, hey. This will be Jonathan Gonzalez's first title defense after defeating Elwin Soto in an action-packed fight for his current title. At the moment, Gonzalez is the only world champion in any division from Puerto Rico, which is a little shocking considering the deep history of Puerto Rican boxing. Mark Anthony Barriga has fought mostly in the Philippines in a short career. His last fight in the U.S. was his lone loss, a split decision defeat at Staples Center in L.A. to Carlos Lacona. Barriga is hoping this trip to America is far more successful than this last one. Fill your thoughts for this Friday. Um, Mark Barriga is a, a very good um, boxer. He has that Philly Shell Mayweather style for his defense, so he doesn't really get hit too much. I, I've never seen him really hurt. Um, he's very quick. Uh, his, his, punch, his punch speed is very fast. It's hard for opponents to see them. Um, but Gonzalez is world class. Like you said, he just world, uh, won a, a world title, and he's coming off the biggest victory of his life. So he's definitely definitely going to take that confidence into his fight with Bariga and he's going to give him a, um, a show and a, and a hard fight come this weekend. Yeah. Um, I agree with you, Phil. He's going to continue to, you know, carry that, uh, um, not to mention being in the Olympics. So he's going to carry, he has that confidence to carry over to his fights. Um, he's in a winning streak. I mean, even though before he had a long layoff uh, for personal reasons, but two wins in a row, and I think that's uh, he has momentum right now. That's why he took this fight. And um, I'm, um, he's I know I'm sure he's confident that he's going to he's going to take this title and, um, due to his uh, um, winning streak and momentum. Uh, perhaps he got his confidence back. Uh, he's he's um, he's legitimate for this uh, for this uh, world title. Uh, I. Um, I think that he's going to um, make it a good fight. Yeah, I'm excited for this fight. I think that we're in for a really, really great showdown. Uh, two styles that work well with each other. And although uh, although Gonzalez came away with the win and the split decision victory against Soto, and that overall he came away with the W, uh, I think there are certain aspects uh, that Soto troubled him with, that Soto kind of challenged him on. And I think a lot of those same attributes can be found uh, in Baby Boy. So, uh, you know, I think the slickness and some of the counterpunching and the, and the movement that worked against uh, Gonzalez to a degree uh, in the hands of uh, Elwin Soto, I, I think the baby boy can bring it. And he's got the skills to make this a good matchup and perhaps prop it in a way that Soto could not. The baby boy. Good, uh, good alias for a Filipino boxer. Bariga fights slick. I mean, you guys mentioned that. He's, he's, uh, he's slick. He's, he's 
very different than a lot of the other Filipino boxers that we follow who are more punchers mm -hmm. or boxer punchers or like to come forward, have no trouble fighting in the phone booth. Riga's slick, right? I mean, he's quick. Yeah. Good jab. Not much power. Um, I mean, that's the evidence is there in his in his um his boxing record or his knockout ratio. But man, he could box and he's yeah. he's quick, he's fast, he's a good jab, good footwork, good back foot fighter. He needs to come forward, he'll stick out his jab and then start throwing his left. Yeah. He's slick from a from a southpaw stance too. So yeah. um that's again, that's not something you see very much from a Filipino fighter. A lot of southpaws, but not slick ones. And you know, yeah. um it's pretty cool to see. He has this great opportunity here in front of him, right? So I mentioned that. He's mostly been in the Philippines. He has, I think he has two fights outside of the Philippines. I mentioned the one in LA and I think he fought um, outside of the Philippines one other time in China. His only loss was that one in Staples Center. So he, you know, he only knows winning and well, other than that loss, but he mostly knows winning and he has in front of him an opportunity here to get a strap. And I want to talk about Gonzalez a bit as far as his last fight. Um, his style. He's a boxer puncher. He was, you know, he also fights pretty well off of his back foot. In fact, that fight versus Soto, that's a, that was a that was a really close fight. I mean, you could see yeah, split decision, and anyone and anyone yeah. could have made a case for for either fighter. He came out victorious, and now he's world champion. Um, you know, good body puncher, good hard hitter. I mean, his I think he threw more and connected more um, based on what we researched and what we watched, but that was a really close fight and had a lot of, had a lot of action. What are your thoughts on Gonzalez? And well, let's talk about his fight versus Soto. What are, you, what are your thoughts about that last fight? Who do you think won that fight between Gonzalez and Soto? Could have went either way. Um, I really think uh, Soto's style coming forward had, uh, had um, Gonzalez against the ropes. You know, it's a close fight. Um, you know, so, so Gonzalez also looks to counter and um, try to land some big ones there. I think Soto really pushed the action and uh, uh, was more aggressive. And um, if I was to watch that again, I would probably pick Soto that won that fight. I mean, either way, it could have went either way. But I think, you know, Barig, uh, Baby Boy needs to do that. Uh, take it from from Soto, what he did, be the aggressor, be the be the guy that starts first, throw the jab, throw combinations, have have Soto against the ropes. I think that will be the key. Um, you know, yeah, if he fights off the back foot, but um, you don't, you know, landing punches back, you know, in your back foot, it's not the same as landing your punch and pushing off your back foot. So I think that uh, if 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 Bariga does that aggressive style like Soto does and be slick. And use that 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 uh, Olympic um, you know Olympic style that he had and 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 throw combination. I think he has a really good chance to get this strap. Yeah, I mean, I, I wasn't overly impressed with the Soto fight. I think that I found myself frustrated actually. If I was if I was if I was a fan of uh, of Gonzalez, I would just be frustrated with his overall style. Um, as far as te you know technical aspects of what he has to do and, and what he has to do to win. Uh, he has to he has to definitely get and earn uh, baby boy's respect um, and land with something because he could be hitting fresh air for the first couple of rounds. I think that the defensive attributes um, for our, our Pinoy friend are, are, are a little bit more impressive. And uh, I think he's going to have a hard time, uh, you know, dominating the center of the ring or, or being or being, uh, you know, aggressive. Um, I think that he's not he's in for some really sweet counter punching. So. You know, bottom line is I, he does a lot of things very well, but I'm not impressed with any one thing he does. Uh, so I, I just think it's going to be a close fight. Yeah, um, I, I think that uh, Gonzalez had the better combos in that fight. Um, Soto was the aggressor. He was coming forward, but I felt like he wasn't really landing as many effective combos as Gonzalez. Gonzalez was fighting off the back foot. His back was on the rope, but he was landing the cleaner shots. And he was just, he displayed beautiful, 
lateral movement, wasn't really getting hit too much. So I, I kind of saw that, uh, that Gonzalez clearly won that last fight. Um, Mark Barriga is going to have a hard time finding him. If, if Gonzalez displays the same lateral movement that he did in his last fight against Barriga, Barriga is going to have a hard time finding him. And uh, yeah, Barriga has to pick up his punch count. If, if he puts out the same amount of volume he did his last fight against uh, Ramel, he, he's going to take an L that night. Because I, I think he didn't really throw that many punches uh, compared to his opponent in his last fight. So. I think Gonzalez will have the edge overall in, 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 in boxing ability. Phil, what does Gonzalez need to do to successfully defend his title on Friday? Um, I would say definitely uh, go to the body, you know, Bariga down, because Bariga himself is a good defensive fighter. Um, if, if, if you saw in Bariga's last fight, he got knocked down by overhand right, right in the first round. And throughout the whole fight, he was getting clipped with that same overhand right because uh, Bariga has a tendency to to drop his, his left hand in that Philly shelf style. So if Gonzalez could time that right hand, he could clip Bariga and Bariga could get hurt and go down just like he did in his last fight. Um, so I would say definitely maybe throw that overhand right the way it worked for Ramil and just keep up the pressure and go to the body. Carlo Gonzalez, key to victory. He's gonna have to fight him. I don't think it's gonna. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be effective all the time to fight backwards or on your back foot. It's a little. It's a little. He's gonna have to be. He's gonna have to fight Mariga. I mean, it's gonna. You know what? It's also. Let's see. Let's see how he takes Mariga's uh, power. He's not the most powerful puncher, but let's see how he takes it. Maybe. Maybe. He can take Bariga's punch. Maybe he can't. I think if Bariga gets his respect early, he's gonna have to fight him. Uh, he can't. He can't wait too long. As being the champion, he can't wait too long or try to counter or just throw one or two counter punches on his back foot or against the ropes. His key to victory is probably gonna. He's like Phil said. He landed uh, clear, clear punches against. Uh, uh, Soto. So that's the key. If the judges see that cleaner punches, more volume, and 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 clean punches, then that's his key to victory. Is pretty much landing more and cleaner punches. Monty, what are Gonzalez's keys to victory on Friday? I mean, the main the main key is to press his power advantage. His knockout ratio is much better uh, than Bariga, and we saw the. When he makes a clean punch, it, you know pe people do see it, people do notice, and the other guy feels it. So as long as he's the aggressor, as long as he you know maintains a good punch output, uh, he has to connect and he has to sh use that power advantage, the strength advantage that he has. You know he has to make uh, you know Bariga feel that that additional power and uh, and be hesitant to throw. All of it is doable, by the way, and all of it's feasible. Mark Anthony Rodriguez has a opportunity here to become world champion. Yeah. He's my, what are his keys to victory for winning the strap on Friday? He's got to withstand and be able to take the other man's punch. You know, the other man is stronger. And I, and if he follows the game plan that we've outlined or that I outlined, uh, it could be a rough night. So he has to use, you know, that slick movement. Uh, also engage in lateral movement uses uh, superior angles and foot speed to uh, to avoid you know getting boxed in counter sharp uh, be sharp work the body and he could he could run away with it but and that's the key running away with it because he, he definitely is is lacking in the power department and he uh, you know he cannot really bully or press the issue he has to be smart and uh, and be defensively responsible Carlo what does Bariga need to do to win on Friday man he has to fight the perfect fight he has to box this guy. He has to be, he has to really be the aggressor. He has to push the action just like Soto did. He has to do that. It's just, it's just, um, especially if you're not really a, a power puncher, but you got to take your chance by moving forward. You got to push this guy on the ropes. You got to land your combination. You got to go for your combinations. Um, that's his best uh, chance for victory. He is a boxer. He's been through the Olympics, so he knows what volume is. He knows what the, um, what he needs to do with the output to win fights. So, 
I know it's going to be for a strap. It's going to be a different type of ball game. But he needs to be the aggressor. He needs to box. He needs to be slick, and 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 just land more. He has to land more. He really has to be impressive. He has to impress the judges. He has to really take this to uh, Gonzalez. Yeah, it's, it's like I said before. Bariga didn't really throw too many punches his last fight, so I would say the number one thing he has to do, he has to let his hands go, make it a fight. It's like Carlos said, he needs to be the aggressor come forward and just bring the fight to Gonzalez. His last fight to me, it looked like he was in a sparring session and he's not going to win the belt by, by doing that. So he has to throw at least two to three times more punches than he, than he did his last fight and, and take the fight to Gonzalez and, and just make it ugly if he can. Even in a debatable win, that split decision win versus Soto, Jonathan Gonzalez is a good, he's a good mover. He's a good boxer. He's heavy handed. He throws with a lot of power. He does it off of his back foot, which, you know, we all said, so to push the pressure, but Gonzalez can throw and, and, you know, it, it, there is evidence there as far as his connect percentage and his accuracy with the power shots he did throw. And clearly it was enough to win his current world title for the baby boy to catch and fight that perfect fight. Like you guys said, his jab it really needs to be effective. He can't just throw it out there. He's going to have to snap his jab. We know he's going to jab a lot, right? He's not going to suddenly change his style and become a move forward brawler. He could still, he could still be the aggressor though with his style. And I think it all starts with this jab. He's going to have to really snap that jab and find Jonathan Gonzalez, which again will be difficult because he's a good mover. Um, but I think, you know, I think Mark Anthony has a great opportunity here. Stay within himself, fight his fight, stick out his jab, but he's going to have to throw that left hand also. All right, so what are your predictions for Friday? Sadly, I'm going to predict a split decision uh, victory for the champion. Uh, I think the power – I think uh, he – it's a very favorable matchup. He's been here before. Um, some of the comments that Phil made, actually some great points, um, you know, the – Likelihood that we won't see a lot of volume activity um, coming from uh, Bariga, as well as the strength and power advantage. I, I just think he might move him quite early, e even with the frustrating style that I was even, you know, kind of negative or coy about earlier. Uh, but I predict, uh, you know, I'm trying to be objective here and go with a split decision victory for the champ in his first defense. I got Jonathan Gonzalez winning by knockout. I just think that his schedule has been steadily um, been active. Um, he is the champion. He is, you know, a lot of people are really, um, are, are supporting him. Um, he has momentum. He, he's, he believes in himself. He's, he's, you know, he's very confident. So I think eventually it's going to be maybe in the middle rounds, there's going to be a, a, either a stoppage or a knockout on, um, Jonathan Gonzalez as the winner. Uh, yeah. Hey, listen, I'm going to vote for Bariga. Um, I want our fellow Filipinos to win, but it's like Mont and Carlos said, uh, there's a difference in, in experience, and Gonzalez has the edge. He, he's fought better comp. He's been fighting in title fights back-to-back uh, -back for the last five years. So I'm going to have to go with, with Gonzalez, I'm going to say, by unanimous decision. I actually think Mark Anthony Barriga becomes the new WBO World Junior Flyweight Champion. He's going to fight that perfect fight. He's going to find that killer Let's instinct. Go. I think that's a lot. Right. That's a lot to ask um, Bariga, only because of his style. But I think he's going to find that killer instinct. He's going to find that jab. He's going to connect. And he needs to. So he could become the new world champion. Leave your comments and let us know who you think will win this Friday from Ocelia Heritage Park in Kissimmee, Florida for the WBO World Junior Flyweight Championship. The champion, Jonathan Bloma Gonzalez and Mark Anthony, the baby boy, Bariga. Yeah. <laughs> that like. Smash the like button. Yeah. You know you want to.